I detest that. Stop driving like hooligans. I like to get them out. It's a see something. It's a see something. I like to get them out. Hello everyone and a welcome back to Super Hall Sunday. As I'm filming this, the sun is shining. I'm feeling the sun. So I became the sun. Yay! I'm actually gonna just bring you guys up a little bit you know just so you can see all of me not literally all of me anyway hello and welcome back today's haul is gonna be a brand that i have never hauled before i have bought a few clothes in the past from them but i don't have the biggest experience so i feel like that is a good one and it's all summer vibes festival appropriate summer holidays you know all the summery tones going on and that brand is Urban Outfitters! This bag is obviously empty. But that's because I'm going to be showing you all the goodies. Now, this video is in partnership with 21 Buttons and Urban Outfitters. So they are sponsoring this video, which is so exciting to me. I'm like, a hell yeah! So, you guys have heard me talk about 21 Buttons before. You know that I have a 21 Buttons profile. So... I will be posting a photo from this video, one of the looks, and I will link it all over on my 21 Buttons profile. Also go and check out Urban Outfitters on 21 Buttons because all of the looks that I will be showing you guys will be linked there. So if you want to shop, go there. 21 Buttons is great anyway, in case you didn't know what it is. It's basically an app which you can download and you can shop people's looks instantly. It's kind of like Instagram, but you can actually like click on the item. Yes. So sign up if you haven't. Also, if you are someone that posts outfit photos, you can actually post the photos yourself and make commission off of people buying your things that you link. So yeah, that is 21 Buttons in a nutshell and it's a really, really great platform and you guys, I'm over on it so you know, you should go and follow me, check out the photo of me and one of the Urban Outfitters items and shop the items there. So thank 21 Buttons and Urban Outfitters, thank you guys for uh, doing this video with me, I'm very excited. So, the first item I'm actually wearing right now, uh, hello, 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 we now will notice that come this time of year misha is obsessed with slip dresses like it is just my jam i bloom in love slip dresses they are the best invention ever also um yeah whoopsies we're gonna pretend that never happened Shh. it's because i put the yellow on the yellow broke off anyway so this is a really really sweet slip dress it's actually spotty i don't know if you yeah you can see um and it's got a really nice neckline it falls really nicely these are this is quite a long slip dress but i think that looks even more classy there we go there is a proper look i know my sexy socks completely add to it what can i say but yeah it's a really nice length it just skims over the body you could also put a belt with it um um, and even like cinch it up a little bit with a belt but I do quite like this length I think it gives all like the classy sexy secretary vibes and then this is the back really easy peasy there is adjustable straps which is fab for me because we know I like to make things more low cut whereas other people might want to make it a bit higher so you have that flexibility but yeah really nice fabric this is my favorite neckline like this draping what's it called I know the name I know the name it's a C something it's a C something it's a C something it's gone it's gone it's gone the sun's come out and my brain's gone what can I say so yeah at absolutely obsessed with this dress um i'm pretty sure i still have the pro let's pull the price tag out because i think we all know i'm definitely keeping it it's adorable so this was 39 pounds and i got this in a size small and this is urban outfitters own brand and yeah it's just beautiful i love the color yellow and i know they say blondes shouldn't wear yellow well i detest that i say no blondes can wear whatever color they want shall we whack out some lilac people okay so this is a little lilac play suit kind of like utility what are they called those like workmen wear thingy with bobbies but in a play suit version which is really really cute it's in this sort of like soft canvas it's in the nicest lilac color it has a little belt 
and this bad boy was 59 pounds and it is a size small i know urban outfitters is a little bit more expensive but the quality really is there so you are paying for the quality along with the item not sure i'm going to be layering it with the yellow i'm not sure that would be a vibe but yeah let's exit stage right bye bye so you could either obviously do it all the way up and go for like yes full on workman vibes or you know get the puppies out and cinch the belt this is predominantly how i would probably wear it because you know me i like to get them out what can i say so this is how adorable that made no sense this is so adorable now i am very pale right now but i don't actually think it looks too like it doesn't look like it washes me out which is good um i personally probably would prefer it with a tan but that's because i just personally love my skin with a tan it just looks glowy and radiant and healthy and like shiny and moisturized whereas when i'm pale i feel like it makes my skin look more dry and i've got very dry skin but anyway this isn't a skin tutorial this is a urban outfit at all so yeah so adorable it fits really really nicely i wouldn't want this to be too tight where like you know when something's so tight that it goes up your yeah i don't like those sort of play suits and i've got a very long body so if something doesn't go up my eye nut we're doing well guys but yeah really nice you could obviously roll up the sleeves a little bit it also is like a little bit creased but because of the fabric you can get away with it and i'm about to sneeze why do i keep on almost sneezing and then not sneezing that is the worst feeling ever but yeah really cute color love it i could probably again cinch the waist a little bit more if i wanted to fully snatch that bad boy um also it doesn't flash my bum cheeks which is nice it's a really good length you could obviously roll this up if you if you did want to flash a bum cheek or two but i don't think i'll be going to um and then should i show you it with it done up you can do it like that you could do it like this i also feel like really cool people come like the more colder months not that i'm talking about that we're all for summer but i feel like you could wear this as like a little polo um like roll neck underneath i think that would look really really bougie maybe some knee-high boots misha stop thinking about the winter times we're enjoying the summertime yes thank you okay next up is this little dress now this you guys may have seen on my instagram stories if you don't follow me on instagram i'm offended it's me sure underscore grimes um, and i got so many questions about this dress honest to goodness me people thought it was a top as well which i get so this is a dot and x dress and it is 48 pounds and honestly it's adorable it isn't a size too big for me um but i can get away with it because it's got a tie waist so honestly this color this everything it's just a bit of me and the sleeves wait till you see the sleeves your life is going to be changed changed okay i've got an itch on my back I'm just gonna put this on are you getting little house on the prairie vibes because i am and i'm loving it okay so this neckline is really nice it's not too low it's not too high it sits in a really nice place it has this gorgeous little ruffled lapel and then look at these sleeves they're so cute they remind me of like a little buttercup flower oh yeah this dress is actually flower print as well um and then it has a little tie around the waist it's actually a wrap dress um which i like because then you can get a cheap I swear, in my neighbourhood, there is just noisy cars. I never hear anybody else on YouTube complaining about noisy cars. Yo, people of my neighbourhood, stop driving like hooligans. So yeah, I love the little leg bit because then I can do a, a pop of the leg. Ah yes, it's a, a simple, a sweet, and then a sexy. <laughs> I'm a freak. But yeah, really, really cute. The back is just like this. Kind of gives me cool the midwife vibes, but I'm here for it. A little Victorian number. But you know, a young, spunky, great word, spunky twist because um, it has the yellow dots, it has the floral, it's the bright colour. Winning, 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 winning. Okay, shall we um, move on to. Uh, I feel like actually I just got loads of dresses. I must be on a dress hype at the moment, but. This is a slightly different vibe. Now this to me screams Mykonos holiday. So this is perfect because that is where I'm going. So this is 
a size extra small um i've managed to rip off the price tag somehow even though i haven't worn this so i will link that down below um and this is a maxi dress well it's not like fully maxi but it's probably the maxiest we've got so i'm just gonna pop it on it's this really cute like pattern guys how adorable is this it also fits like a glove i feel like I need kind of someone to do this bow a bit tighter because <laughs> my arms are long but they're not that flexible but here we go I literally feel like you know when those mother and daughters like dress up in the same outfit I feel like this would be the perfect dress so it's got a really nice square neckline really flattering around the arms it's not like cinching so you have that annoying like little roll bit also I don't have a bra on and you can't see anything yay and then there's a little look at the back there's be a beautiful back for a wedding dress you know not that i'm getting married anytime soon but you never know maybe prince charming is out there waiting for me with a ring then we come down to the length now as we can see it is a little bit high low like it's got this square that's a bit cut out um and then you can have a little flash of the ankle you know a little sexy ankle but no so adorable i love the pattern and the more i look at it the thing it actually reminds me of is when i go to poland and like the napkins and like the table lays that they use out there so basically i'm wearing a napkin but it's fashionable and i love it it's quite a light baby pink so if you are wanting to get into pink but you don't want to like go ham i feel like this would be perfect because it's a light sprinkling of pink but nothing too ott and yeah it's just a good slip on dress i plan on wearing this down to like breakfast or on holly bobs with some little sandals but you can also wear it with wedges and like sassy it up for the evening just an option now next up we have a bit oh more green now this is another slip dress but a very different style so this is a much thicker and heavier fabric it's in this beautiful green again i think green is a color that i just don't wear enough because it's stunning and then it's got this really nice white floral pattern but it's nothing too detailed because there's only like the outline and the fill in that didn't make any sense the outline of the filling you know what i mean though it's like a block rather than like little details um and yeah it's just got these little string ties which means that you can adjust it oh i just heard dad coming in um and this one is in a size extra small and it was 39 pounds this one is probably the loosest fit out of everything but that is kind of the idea of slip dresses so let's just undo this bad boy also the fabric of this so soft there we go Round and around and around and around we go. Can we tell them and listen to Rihanna? Ready? How to feel about it? Something in the way you move. Okay, so here we have the little green number. As we can see, it's a lot shorter than the previous. And this is what it's like just with nothing really nice and loose. Obviously, I've got it quite baggy up top. But then, if you just added a little belt, I feel like that looks even cuter. I would probably prefer to wear this with a belt, just to give me a little bit more shape. But there is both options. Also, what I'm loving about these straps... Now, I've got to do this so I try not to flash, but... Me being me, I like to be a bit extra. You may have guessed. So, what I plan on doing is like wearing this dress in loads of different ways. You could do it like this. You could do it like a normal, like that. And then you get a little bit of side boob out. And then you could use this one as a belt. Should I show you that? So, this is the good thing about these little dresses. You can wear them in many a way. So I'm just going to bow that at the back. Then I'm taking this and I'm just going to put the inside box in. And then I'm just going to swizzle it round. And then we get a belt. There we go. And then I'm just going to tighten up my belt and pull that forward. And then look, I've made a little belt situation. And it also looks cute from the back and then it's got like a low back so go me imaginative inventive creative i wish i wish i wish i wish but i found that it's quite a good show on my part i'm not gonna lie not to sing my own praises but i'm gonna sing my own praises um shall we move on to a top the one top that i got 
So it is this little adorable number. So it's in this gorgeous like brownie, mustardy, orangey shade size small and this is 24 pounds i just think this is an absolutely fabulous color and like speckly pattern i'm gonna try and put this on without accidentally flushing over jj um because i didn't actually pick up any bottoms strangely enough but i just feel like dresses and like little throw-on pieces is what i wear when it gets warmer because you don't have to think about the outfit and it looks nice but here we go I thought this would look so nice. Oh my goodness me, this looks so expensive. Oh my God, look how classy. So the good thing about this is you can tie it to different tightness, tightnesses, tightnesses, yeah? I think that's a word. It's got these beautiful billowy sleeves. And the thing is you could dress this up with like black palazzo trousers for the evening or just like little denim shorts. I wouldn't necessarily suggest wearing it with this green thing because they don't look great together, but it's fine. It's just got a covered back. And then yeah, you could either do this tight or a bit more loose, you know, options. And then also I've just thought of something. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? I'm going to completely reinvent this. I love how I'm trying not to flash you guys, but I'm literally flashing my neighbors. I hope no one comes out and looks out their window right now. So, Another way you can wear this top, I don't know what's come over me today, I just seem to be feeling very creative, is backwards. Oh, oh my god, I'm loving this. Hello, 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 hello. There we go. Okay, so really beautiful, like covered up now. And then at the back. Again, multi-use. Congratulations, Misha. You are basically a fashion designer guru. I wish, but that looks so classy. But you could wear it this way for the evening and the other way for the day, you know. Then you've got like two in one outfits with the change of a pant or just a change of a top direction thing in Bobby. Okay, um, I'm gonna shut up now. And we're gonna move on to an item that is in a similar color wave. So it's this kind of orangey mustard vibe. Now I have worn this and you guys were asking all about it. Um, I wore this in my Scotland vlog. So this is another little boiler suit. That's what they're called, boiler suit. This is another little boiler suit. Um, this one has a button up and down with tortoise shell buttons. This is a slightly thicker fabric than the lilac one. And it's also got the, um, what did this used to be called? The contrast stitching yeah yeah that's the one um this one was 59 pounds so again a little bit pricey but it is a really nice fabric um and it's like lined on the buttons and yeah i love this so i wore this when i was there and i got a lot of questions so let's show you it on here we go second to last item as we can see very similar shape to the lilac you can cinch in the belt you could roll up the sleeves you could roll up the shorts but i just like it how it is i think it looks so nice you could again also bust. <gasps> see that does look cute that does look cute but again i also quite like it like this shock again no flash of the butt cheek amazing this one probably fits even nicer than the last one and the last one fit really nicely but this fabric just feels so lovely and like bougie um also love this color with a tan i feel like i'm gonna look like a little delight hazelnut whip situation going on um at least a girl can dream so yes fabulissa moss this again casual and dressy depending on how you style it um and really good for england because i feel like we don't really get that warm like you could definitely wear this in like 24 25 degrees um i feel like maybe if you're in like 30s you might melt a bit in the day but then save it for the evening perfect so last piece last I Tom is another slip dress. Wow, shock horror. Now, this one was £32, is a size extra small. I actually think that's a very good price for this dress because the fabric is beautiful. It is stunning. Also, this shade of pink, absolutely amazing. Um, it is similar to the yellow one, a slightly different shape, slightly different fabric. This is more silky. The yellow one was a little bit more textured uh, and this does have a slit as well so final item let's go Ta -da! final item okay so we have an <gasps> cowl neck 
that's what it's called it's a cowl neck wow maybe my brain does work um, so again beautiful little straps a little light back um a nice little neckline this one doesn't have adjustable straps which isn't really a bad thing because it does sit nicely but i would personally probably prefer it to be a little bit more downwards that's probably just me though um and yeah and then it comes down to the stomach and then the leg slit is at the side it's a really nice length again it probably does need a little bit of an iron but it actually isn't that creased considering can we see the length a bit more here yes 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 absolutely love it this color of like coral is stunning again you could put oh sorry 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 don't want to make you feel drunk you could put a belt with it as an option i'm actually going to be wearing it in this week's weekly vlog so make sure to stay tuned for that and you will see how i style it up because i'm going to do it a bit more eveningly i'm going to go a little bit bougie and a little bit street with it so stay tuned for that but yeah beautiful could be my favorite piece but then i think i like all of them equally i'm not gonna lie so that has been my Urban Outfitters haul with 21 Buttons. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Again, make sure to check out 21 Buttons. Sign up. Make sure to go and check out the photos that I'm going to be posting in the items. And go check out Urban Outfitters on 21 Buttons. Everything will be linked there. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. You know when you do a haul and you just you just really, really like all the pieces? I feel like this is one of those hauls. Like all the pieces I love and I wouldn't even like question returning like one single bit of them yeah do you know what i mean you know it's a good and expensive and a good and bad you want everything which is bad but it's also good because everything is lush anyway make sure to do a like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one toodle pip guys bye